Hello and welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video here on the channel. I hope everybody's having an amazing weekend. So today that portal is gleaming purple which means the 2x event is live in full effect and fingers crossed we can get a new legendary champion to add to that account. Now we've also got the 10x event for Odin who's actually super powerful. You talk about this wisdom passive where every 9 turns you'll place a block damage on this champion while applying a buff spread effect to take those buffs and place them on all allies. And this is just nasty to face in the arena. We've also got that stun and decrease defense combination with the removing of buffs from enemies. And then we've got this attacking of one enemy before attacking steals or buffs from the target. The damage inflicted depends on the target's type, ignores 100% of defense and also if the target was killed by the skill will revive a dead ally with 50% HP and turn meter whilst being based on enemy max HP. And he brings in that berserk debuff as well which is unique and something I don't have on my account. So yeah, he would be a really strong one to have for sure. But it's worth noting I'm not going for the Brew God Jeroboam fusion. Is that how you say it from the Ogryn tribes? Let me know in the comment section below. How many of you are actually going for him? Like he looks pretty cool in game in terms of aesthetics. And I feel like he's a very good support option overall. But for me personally, I'm just burnt out from fusions. Like I did the Thor one straight into the Titan event. Which was just as hard as a fusion in my opinion. And then I was like, you know what, we've got Halloween soon, and I'll probably just save off some resources, focus on some other areas in the game, such as Minotaur grinding or, you know, trying to change up my Hydra teams. And then I'll just go full force into the Halloween one once that comes around and it gets released. But yeah, we've got removing of debuffs from allies, which is nice. We've got a healing by 15% of this champion's max HP, whilst also healing them by an extra 2% value for each debuff removed from this skill while also placing a shield equal to 15% of his max HP, which is nice. Uh, we got an increasing and of duration ally buffs, and also enemy debuffs, which could be nice to keep those um, effects up more consistently. And then a chance to decrease the random skill cooldown of allies as well, which is very powerful on the likes of Ancora and Grand Oak Padre, right? But I feel like they do it for two turns, if I'm not mistaken. And then we've got this Termit and Manipulation stuff with the passive to counter some crowd control effects and some unique synergies you can put them amongst. So in terms of the champions that I'm looking for today, there is a lot of Void Legendaries that I currently don't have which would make a huge impact. One being Taras to pair it with my Marishka, a top tier damage dealer. I would say of course the Odin being a 10x event, but I'd say my most wanted is from the Shadowkin in... What's his actual name here? I know it's Leyasu as the second part. Onro Liasu, there we go, but he deals some crazy damage in the Hydra boss from what I've been seeing and I might get a video out from him um, on the test server very soon, so stay tuned for that. And also in the Shadowkin, surprise surprise, we're looking for Shu Zen because if we go into my Altar of Souls, I've actually got a 6 star soul for her and that will just give some instant value for that champion, right? Um, also any non-dupes, is there any other highlights that I'm looking for here? White King Narcissus, 100%. I've got that in Korra to pair up with that. So that would be uh, probably next best in line, as well as maybe a Krizzy or something. I'd even take a Tormin. I never went for that fusion back in the day. But before we get into this, um, I actually am giving away 540 gems to five lucky winners. And all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber of the YouTube channel. And in your comments below, just include your UM code within any of those. And then I'll be selecting the winners sometime before the 10th of this month. And good luck to anybody getting involved. Let's go. We got uh, 49 shards and a dream. I could have got 50. But I didn't want to go for the... What's it called? The Bizarre Shop one from the Tag Team Arena. Because I want to get the portrait thing. <laughs> you guys see that? They added it in game. Where is it? These things. The avatar frames. One of them is from Hydra Clash. Yeah, the Tag Team Arena Bazaar, there was one in there for like 30k, which is super expensive, but why not, right? Um, but yeah, uh, back into the shards. Here we go. We just picked up a Seer there. Do you know what? In terms of epics, yesterday I pulled a Gala Longbraids to get my plus four. I would love to get a plus four on my Whisper because I've got a six star blessing and I've also got a plus three at the moment. I, come on. I know we're not on Mercy because I actually pulled a Senna pretty recently during the Packmaster fusion. So I'm definitely nowhere near it. Maybe someone's about 50 or so since then. All right, we've got Andrissia. Pretty unique champion here with the ally protection, strength and increased defense with the passive. 
Actually, I need to do a video on her. I've never really deep dived into it. Any Andrissia fans out there? All right, come on. And also let me know in the comment section below, what kind of champions did you pull if you went for this 2x on this weekend? All right, I'm getting a bit scared now. We're only a bit through, but... All right, we're getting some good luck in terms of epic. Skimfoss is so powerful for the Dark Fae. Do not underestimate Skimfoss, guys. All right, can we get some luck here? Please rate. Let's turn on that 2x, even though the epics have been good. Here we go. Ooh, another epic. Come on, at least give me a whisper here. Paragon, of course, everyone knows the value of that champion. All right, that was a bit of a rare tax there, but we did get lucky in the first nine. Can't complain. Another epic. We've got Kafri, the Death Keeper, who was actually a part of a previous fusion. Oh, Legendary, come on. Epic Trunk Heart. See, uh, did I actually, do you know what? I don't know if I went for that fusion. It was a fusion, right? Emic Trunk Heart. Is it, oh, it's the Taunt guy. Okay. I don't think I had him, guys. I don't think, okay. Index is glowing. Oh no, I went for him. I, oh no, I went for him. It's Dupe City. I did. I, I just haven't been using him, but I know that he's a really strong champion. Who did we get that's new here? A Kempton? I didn't even have a Kempton before. There we go. Damn, okay. It's very, well, not very rare. I don't ha I usually get a ton of dupe legendaries from the Void Affinity. But unkillable, taunt, shields, shields again. I should really give this guy a shot, but damn, there's so many options that could have been there. Where's my Odin? We need to get a back-to-back -back luck here. Come on. I know we can do it. It's a very rare occasion. To be fair, I should be happy with just that because... Oh, wait, I'll take the Inquisitor. I've actually got a plus three at the moment. Come on, raid. All right, final temple here, guys. Here we go. Bring it home. Ragemonger, Frenzy the Cackler. I don't think I had that champion either. It's the Burn Detonator, right? I'm really Enchantress. Give me the Whisper. Selenia Nightcloak, and another epic in Werrigan Sunkurst, who I like pretty well. Damn. I just looking, how much was it in the arena thing again? The tag team arena? Bizarre. 15,000. So, I mean, it's like, uh, I might as well just, oh, 50,000 for that. Ah. Uh, do you know what? We're doing the 2x voids, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Last chance. <laughs> Damn. I guess it's going to take me another 15 years to get that. Uh, all of that for a rare champion. Damn it. Terex the Restless. I can finally rest after seeing that one. But yeah, we got a few new champions. I've never had an Akemptum. Never had a Frenzy. So, you know, two new epics. Avoid Legendary. Not what we was looking for, but I will take it. Why not? Does it fill up any of my faction Guardians for the Sylvan Watchers? It does. Okay. So that is a plus side for sure. Because there's a lot of powerful champions in this faction that I love to use. Do you know what? I'd love to get that dude. What's the new one? The a man's counter in a sense. Kyolite. The Ash Arrow. He's a pretty fun one. Damage dealer from this faction. The Incenza would have been nice as well. Decrease defense and weaken, right? I'm kind of lacking that from one champion outside of Lydia and... What's the other dude? The one that does all the AoE attacks, but it's kind of... Suzerain Katon. That was it. That was the other one I would have been looking for. So what we got going on here then? Champion Chase Tournament. Oh, we went almost all the way to the top here. Is it worth going for that Eternal Soul Stone? I believe the, what was it? That Deck of Fate event for Frey is coming soon from Soul Stones and Champion, is it Champion Training? I forgot what the patch note said. But second place right now, I probably won't hold that. There's no point in me pushing all the way because I don't have an Odin. But there we go. Uh, we got... Pretty lucky, I guess. We got pretty lucky. On that note, that is going to be all for today's video, guys. Going to keep it short and sweet, like Canelia from the Dwarves Faction. Um, if you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to get involved in the giveaway if you want to have a chance to win some goodies. I'll see you on the video soon, and peace.